Good morning and welcome to an energy increasing practice. This is a great practice to do right when you wake up or you need a little bit of a boost of energy throughout the day. So let's begin at the center of the mat, sitting upright, ideally with the legs crossed or in any sitting position that is comfortable for you. It could even be in a chair. Lengthen your spine, tuck the chin a little bit in. Allow your eyes to close if you feel comfortable to, and begin to observe your breath. How long are your inhales? And how long are your exhales? Noticing without changing anything. And then slowly inhaling for five seconds and exhaling for five seconds, bringing a balance between the inhale and the exhale. Equal parts in and equal parts out. Notice the effects of this breathing in your body, in your mind. And then continuing with a seated cat cow. Inhale, arching the back, lifting the chin up towards the sky. Exhale, chin to chest, rounding the back. Continuing at your own pace with your five second inhale and five second exhale. Waking up the spine. Two more times. And finding yourself back at the center when you've done. Bringing your left hand to your right knee, right hand behind you for your first twist. Inhale for five. And exhale for five. On your next exhale, come back to center and let's do the same thing on the other side. Left hand behind, right hand on left knee. Inhale for five, and exhale for five. And on your next exhale, coming back to center. Going onto your hands and knees now. Wrists are beneath the shoulders, knees are beneath, beneath the hips, the toes here, into your first downward dog. Here we're really bringing the forehead towards the ground, head in between the arms, fingertips are wide, knees are slightly bent, and heels are aiming towards the floor, allowing a slight arch at the base of the spine, Pushing into the hands, releasing the shoulders, and slowly lifting the right foot up towards the sky for a three-legged dog. 
from here, making sure the hips are still squared, toes are pointed. And on your exhale, tucking the knee in into a plank. Exhale, push the right leg back and down. If you have sensitive wrists here, you can also do it on your fists. Inhale, lift the left leg up towards the sky. Three-legged dog. And exhale, tucking it in. Inhale back. And exhale down. Bring the knees down, hands down. Beautiful. From here, we're going to lengthen the right leg behind us, left hand in front of us. Exhale in, inhale out. So here, we're going to be exhaling through the mouth, inhaling through the mouth. Ten times. And down. Ten times on the other side. Last time. And down. Bring the knees to the width of your mat. Bring your big toes together and dropping down into a child's pose. From here, we're really lengthening and engaging the arms. When I speak about engaging the arms, I'm asking you to press into the hands and lift the elbows off of the ground. Slowly widening your hands wider than your mat and doing the same thing. And slowly coming back to tabletop position. Bringing yourself again into Downward Facing Dog and walking your hands to your feet. Here in Forward Fold, allow your arms to rest, your head to rest as well. Inhale, back up. Rolling your shoulders back here at the top. And for the last posture of the day, we're going to do a high lunge, stepping your right leg in front. Lifting your arms up towards the sky, receiving all that energy, all of that life force, that prana. Here we're making sure that the right knee is right above the ankle, that the left leg is engaged. And exhale, arms down, bringing the right leg in behind, downward dog. From here, Stepping your left foot in front, high lunge. Returning to your five to five breath. Breathing in for five seconds. And five seconds more for the exhale. And exhale. Hands down, leg back, downward dog. Knees down and come to a seated position for our last breath exercise. Let's top it off with a beautiful breath of fire. This breathing exercise is going to energize you for the entire day. I took off my shirt so you guys could see my stomach and what it does. If this is your first time, give yourself a chance to discover this breath there's no pressure. Bring your right hand to your stomach, breathe in, fill up the stomach, 
And on your exhale, allow the exhale to be forceful, snapping the belly button in. Inhale is natural, happens automatically, and just forceful exhale. So it looks something like this. I am not focusing on the inhale, I am only focusing on the exhale, and naturally the inhale happens. If your nose is blocked, you can also exhale through the mouth. Let's do three rounds of this, three rounds of 20 breaths. So when you're ready, bringing your hand to your tummy, inhaling, and beginning. Exhale, inhale, hold that at the top. Exhale, return to your normal breathing. So you notice that I do it quite quickly, so if you took longer to do it, there's no worries. Make sure you do 20 breaths three times. So you can pause this video and go at your own pace if you weren't at the same pace as me, or you can follow along if you were. So inhale, and beginning a second round. Exhale, inhale, hold at the top. And exhale, returning to normal breath. And now for the third round, inhale and begin. Exhale. Inhale, hold at the top for as long as you possibly can. Maybe even lift your arms up towards the sky, receiving more energy. And exhale when you're ready, dropping the arms. Returning to your normal breath or the five to five breath. Noticing how your body feels. Noticing how your mind feels after just a few minutes of yoga. I hope that you have a beautiful rest of your day. Thank you so much for practicing with me and sharing your beautiful time. And to that I say, namaste.